Yes, Brecken, yes, yes, Stanford study on microbes in extremely salty water suggest life may survive conditions previously thought to be uninhabitable. The research burdens the possibilities welcome for where life may be found throughout our solar system and shows how changes in salinity may affect life in aquatic habitats on Earth. New research led by Stanford University scientists predicts life can persist in extremely salty environments beyond the limit previously thought possible. The study published on December 22nd in Science Advances is based on analysis of metabolic activity in thousands of individual cells found in brines from industrial ponds on the coast of Southern California where water is evaporated from seawater to harvest salt. The results expand our understanding of the potential habitable space throughout our solar system and of the possible consequences of some earthly aquatic habitats becoming saltier as a result of drought and water diversion. We cannot look everywhere, so we have to be really deliberate about where and how we try to find life on other planets. Senior study author Anne Dickers, an assistant professor of Earth System Science in the Stanford Doria School of Sustainability, having as much information as we can about where, how life survives in extreme environments on Earth allows us to prioritize targets for life detections missions elsewhere and increases our chances of success. Scientists interested in detecting life beyond Earth have long studied salty environments knowing that liquid water is necessary for life and salt allows water to remain liquid at a wider range of temperatures. Salt can also preserve signs of life like pickles in brine. We think that salty places are good candidates for finding signs of past or present life. Lead study author Emily Paris, a PhD student in Earth System Science who is a part of Decker's lab, salt could be the very thing that makes another planet habitable even though it is also an inhabitable to life in high concentration on Earth. 